guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, Episode 12, talking about the trailer for this episode. It's not coming out for a few weeks, so don't be on the lookout for it next week, but we will obviously continue making Supergirl videos as we head towards when this episode actually comes out. So, you know, we're on a break again, but it's like two weeks only, so it's not such a big deal. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this trailer is very simple, obviously. The main concept of it is, you know, William and Kara going on a date, and that is, you know, the main arc of this trailer. However, obviously, the episode, that's probably not going to be such a big thing. I reckon that's going to be like a through line throughout the episode, and... We had the big date, sort of like three quarters of the way through the episode. Then we got all this other stuff going on in the background that you briefly see in the trailer with some of the action in the DEO and different things like that. So anyway, so let's go ahead and break down the trailer. Obviously, I'm going to give some thoughts on the potential of their relationship. Like I did last video, if you haven't checked out that review, go check it out. That came out yesterday, so be on the lookout for that. But anyway, so the first shot on the trailer is of William and... This is him asking Kara out, and Kara, in reply to him, is like, Do you mean like a date? Because I think she's kind of surprised. I, I think that maybe, you know, with last episode, they sort of feel like they sort of set up their relationship a bit. I mean, I'm talking about the writers here. So, I guess they feel like, oh, this is the Valentine's Day episode, we need an excuse, you know, maybe we're not gonna have the Alex and Kelly relationship be part of that episode, so, you know, who else can we do? Let's get Kara to have a new love interest. And it's been pretty damn obvious since the start that this was their intention to get William to be some sort of love interest, especially when they twisted him to actually be good and not be bad. However, I have to mention this, and lots of people actually pointed out, I don't think I actually included much of this in the video, but basically, the amount of screen time that these two characters have had together is very minimal. And I'm talking probably like 30 minutes it could even be less than that to be honest and so we've had 11 episodes we haven't had much time with them together and there's not been much bonding time apart from last episode where you have Kara being like no you're coming you have to come to this game night because this is sad you can't just you know sit around here and eat your moldy sandwich or something like that you have to come with us and then I feel like the game night has only been the one thing that they've bonded over and that they've actually had time to properly talk and not be talking about, you know, reporting or anything like that. And if you look back at, say, you know, Monel, or even if you look back at Alex's past relationship with Maggie, there was a build up to that and there was an anticipation for it. And I felt like those were actually well done in terms of building up. And like, you know, if you had the relationship with James, that seemed a little bit rushed. And obviously that didn't go anywhere, so I feel like this is maybe a similar situation where they're just doing it for the sake of it. You know, they need a Valentine's Day episode sort of arc and, you know, we can do that. Also, people have been theorizing about William will die, like, towards the end of the season because of Lex. I kind of don't see that happening, if I'm completely honest. But apart from that, obviously I don't really buy into this yet, and I think my main point is actually to do with the amount of bonding time that they've had, literally barely anything, apart from the end of last episode. And yeah, I can get it, maybe, you know, Williams had a crush on her or something like that, but I, I just don't see it working as like a relationship. I think the state stuff is fine, obviously I'm not sort of buying into it right now, and I feel like a lot of you guys aren't buying into it. However, obviously, if they bond some more and it turns out to be good, I'm in for it. But as of right now, I'm not so much convinced about this pairing. And so, yeah, in the second shot of the trailer, you see Kara responding. She's like, oh, so do you mean like a sort of date or something like that? And she's smiling, she's smirking, and that's very Kara, and I, I enjoyed that. And so moving on to the next shot, we've actually got Kara talking to Wynn. She's talking about how she's Supergirl. She's got no time for, you know, this sort of human stuff like dating and, you know, love and whatever. Obviously, maybe there is some talk about Monel because it's Wynn here. You know, Monel's in the future. Wynn was there as well. Maybe there's some talk between them about that. But I doubt it because the writers like to basically pretend Monel doesn't exist most of the time. And so... Basically, I think Kara is just talking to him 
about, you know, her wanting to maybe go on this date, but at the same time sort of questioning herself after, you know, she's been without any sort of love since, you know, Monel left back at the end of season three. And so moving on to the next shot, we've got Kara breaking into a place as Supergirl, and I don't know specifically what the place is. Let's move on to the next shot, and the next shot is inside the DEO, so maybe they're sticking around, maybe it's like Lex calling him in. Obviously, Alex is still the director of the DEO, so that's not a big problem. However, obviously, Kara's there as well, so maybe they're pretending to still be like on Lex's side, even though they've got their headquarters with Jean back at Jean's place. However, there is some sort of explosion going off in the background, so it seems like there is some sort of break-in at the place, so they're going to have to thwart that in this episode. And then we go back to what will be later in the episode with the date, and you see Kara and William very awkwardly, but kind of cutely. I've got to admit, this is kind of cute, like Kara looking off to the side, sort of smirking, William sort of doing this sort of smirky face, and obviously you can see is getting a little bit awkward, whatever is happening here. Or it could be actually not on the date, and it could be just after Williams asked her out or something like that. So, yeah, let's move on to the next shot. We've got Alex and Kara. Kara is flying into the air. I don't know what else to make apart from this, apart from what you can see. Then we've got back at the DEO, you've got the explosions going off. People are sort of ducking, you know, hiding behind tables and such. And Alex runs out of the way. Kara sort of flips her head around and she sees something. I'm not sure. But... Anyway, we've got Lena and Lex working together once again, toasting with coffee cups, which I find kind of funny, not sure why. But, yeah, so they're working together again. And back in the Fortress of Solitude, something obviously is going down here, unless this is reused footage, it's kind of hard to tell. She's in some sort of fight. Then we move on to the next shot, we go back to Kara in that same outfit, she's still at the bar, she got a drink, and she's laughing, having a good time, and it does seem like this is actually probably part of the date because, you know, she's wearing the same clothes as the next shot. It's karaoke night at the bar. Obviously, the last time we saw the karaoke was in the episode where Wynn's mum came and Wynn was there. One L also sung, which was the funniest thing. And we got all the team singing and dancing, Kara rapping. I just love that episode, so I really like this callback. And I think this is going to be a whole bunch of fun with those two singing. And... Yeah, it does look like a load of fun, not gonna lie. However, still not buying into the relationship as of right now because they've had barely any bonding time. But like I said, I am actually open even though right now I'm sort of against it because I don't believe in it as of right now. So the final shot of the trailer is of Wynn and Kara and again, they're talking. This is similar to that shot before, I think. this It's just a few minutes later in the scene. And so, yeah, that's about it for the trailer shots. But I just want to quickly talk a bit more about, you know, the potential relationship with Kara and William. So we did actually predict way back when William was first being cast, when they just put out the information about the character. I believe we actually first off, or maybe it was like Eric, you know, some of us were mentioning that it seems like this character is, you know, the perfect setup for someone that Kara can battle with, but also sort of aspire to be a little bit like, although William, I don't think, has that same effect on Kara. I think that Kara sort of sees him as sort of an ally within the working space because she can't trust Andrea, stuff like that, as of right now. However, you know, it was pretty obvious since the start when they first put out that casting call that maybe they would set up something like this and I think it was just inevitable as to when it was going to happen it just so happened to happen you know right now and before we end this video off I kind of want to address some of the backlash towards Staz the actor I do not condone it and yes I'm not digging this relationship I don't buy it right now but that's not to say that I don't like Staz or I don't like William because I love both of them I really do like Staz I think he's a good actor I think William's a good character, but I just can't buy the relationship right now. But I will tell you this, please do not go out and try and, you know, attack actors because, you know, say you don't get the relationship or, you know, the character does something you don't want them to do. It's not them. It's the writers who shape the way that everything is done and the actor just does their job. And I think if an actor does a good job, you can buy that chemistry, you can buy that relationship, even if, 
you know, the writing isn't quite up to standard. So please don't go to Staz's, you know, social media stuff and hate on him just because, you know, something happened that you weren't so happy about. You know, you can say that you don't want this relationship to happen or something like that. You know, there's no need to tag the actor. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.